Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss the much hyped topic of Web 3.0. Web 3.0 is the latest internet technology that uses machine learning, artificial intelligence and blockchain to achieve real world human like communication. The icing on the cake is that Web 3.0 will not only allow users to own their data, but they will be paid for their time spent on the web. Sounds too good, right? Welcome to the future of the internet. Before we get into its details, first we need to understand what is Web 1.0 and 2.0. Web 1.0 started in 1989 and lasted until 2005. Main technologies used in Web 1.0 were HTML, HTTP and URL. It's also called the static web, which means the first and most reliable internet in the 1990s despite only offering limited access to information with little or no user interaction back in the day creating web pages or even commenting on the articles or posts wasn't possible you can say it was read only web for example when you went to read an article on the website there was no option for liking commenting or sharing another issue with web 1.0 was it didn't have algorithms to filter web pages which made it extremely difficult for users to find the relevant information simply put it was like a one way road with a little footpath where content creation was only done by a few people web 2.0 is based on centralized system which means big companies like twitter facebook google apple microsoft and amazon control how our data will be used and where it will be stored and processed Web 2.0 started in 2005 and currently is being used. This is the web we are using nowadays. Read only mode became outdated. Web 2.0 was promoted as read and write platform for reaction and interaction. It's also called social web that made the internet a lot more interactive using JavaScript, HTML5, CSS3, etc. Web 2.0 facilitated the tech companies to build interactive web platforms such as YouTube, Facebook, Wikipedia and many more. These platforms made it possible for both social networks and user generated content to flourish the web where data could be distributed and shared between different platforms. For example, Web 2.0 enabled the users to create online interactive content and to engage with each other over the internet via social media blogs and other services when you go on facebook to read a post you can now like comment and share the post it wasn't possible in web 1.0 web 2.0 allowed the users to share their opinion and ideas with the content creator web 2.0 was driven particularly by three core layers of innovation mobile technology social networking and cloud technology now let's discuss the negative aspects there could be many problems with web 2.0 but two are the important ones security and privacy for example when you upload a video on facebook it's your video but actually facebook is the real owner of your video they can delete your video at any time and there is nothing you can do so you are not the owner of your own content you might have heard facebook data sharing scandal facebook was sharing users data with amazon microsoft apple etc these big companies sell users data to ad companies which target the customers and show their ads based on users data facebook was fined 5 billion dollar for sharing users personal information they have all of your data so there is no security and privacy but don't worry these issues are going to be resolved in web 3.0 Web 3.0 is a read write interact web where people could read write and interact with content including 3D graphics Web 3.0 is the next stage of web evolution that would make the internet more intelligent with near human like intelligence through the power of artificial intelligence systems that would run smart programs to assist users Web 3.0 is pointing in the direction of eliminating the big middlemen on the internet such as google yahoo facebook amazon airbnb ebay etc 
दे आर द बिग जॉइंट्स हु आर मेकिंग मोर मनी देन एन एवरेज इंडिविजुअल वेब 2.0 पॉइंट जीरो मेड देम बिलियनियर्स नाउ इट्स द टाइम फॉर कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर्स टू बिकम मिलियनियर्स ऑन द वेब 3.0 पॉइंट जीरो बिकॉज ऑन वेब थ्री पॉइंट जीरो दे विल बी पेड मोर देन नाइन्टी परसेंट ऑफ देयर इनकम वाइल ऑन वेब टू पॉइंट जीरो दे आर गेटिंग ऑलमोस्ट हाफ ऑफ देयर इनकम फॉर एग्जाम्पल यूट्यूब इज पेइंग अराउंड फिफ्टी फाइव परसेंट देयर वुड बी अदर वेज टू अर्न मनी ऑन वेब थ्री पॉइंट जीरो लाइक यूजिंग अ ब्रेव ब्राउजर इट्स बेसिकली यूज टू ब्लॉक एड्स एंड ऑल्सो इन एलिमिनेट्स एड्स ट्रैकर्स बट इफ द यूजर्स विशेज टू वॉच एड्स विल बी अवॉर्डेड अ टोकन बेस्ड ऑन द टाइम स्पेंट दैट वुड हैव अ डिजिटल वैल्यू नाउ द गुड थिंग इज विद वेब थ्री पॉइंट जीरो यू वॉन्ट नीड एन अकाउंट फॉर ईच सोशल प्लेटफॉर्म विद जस्ट वन अकाउंट यू वुड बी एबल टू मूव बिटवीन डिफरेंट सोशल प्लेटफॉर्म्स ब्राउज द इंटरनेट एंड डू शॉपिंग देर आर कंसेप्ट लाइक डाउ डी सेंट्रलाइज अटोनमस ऑर्गनाइजेशन डेफी डी सेंट्रलाइज फाइनेंस एंड एन एफ टीज नॉन फंजिबल टोकन दैट आर ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ वेब थ्री पॉइंट जीरो विजन वेब थ्री पॉइंट जीरो विल बी बिल्ट ऑन द फॉलोइंग टेक्नोलॉजीज एज कंप्यूटिंग इज द प्रैक्टिस ऑफ कैप्चरिंग स्टोरिंग प्रोसेसिंग एंड एनालाइजिंग डेटा नियर द यूजर वेयर द डेटा इज प्रोड्यूस इंस्टेड ऑफ इन अ सेंट्रलाइज डेटा प्रोसेसिंग सेंटर इन वेब थ्री पॉइंट जीरो डेटा वुड बी डिसेंट्रलाइज दिस मीन्स डिसेंट्रलाइज डेटा नेटवर्क विल इनेबल वेरियस कॉन्टेंट क्रिएटर्स टू सेल दियर डेटा विद आउट लूजिंग ओनरशिप प्राइवेसी एंड रिलाइंग ऑन मिडल मैन इट विल इनेबल द यूजर्स टू लॉग इन सिक्योरली ओवर द इंटरनेट विद आउट गेटिंग ट्रैक्ट वेयर एज वेब टू पॉइंट जीरो इज सेंट्रलाइज वैन यू लॉग इन टू एन अकाउंट यूजिंग यूर ई मेल एंड पासवर्ड और इवन वैन यू लाइक अ वीडियो ऑल दीज एक्टिविटीज आर ट्रैक्ट एंड मोनिटर्ड बाई टेक जॉइंट्स सच एज गूगल फेसबुक एटसेट्रा आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंस विल बी यूज टू डिलीवर अकोरेट डेटा टू यूजर्स एंड टू लर्न हाउ टू डिस्टिंग्विश बिटवीन रियल डेटा एंड फेक डेटा सीमेंटिक वेब वुड इनेबल मशीन्स टू डिकोड मीनिंग्स एंड इमोशंस बाय एनालाइजिंग डेटा मशीन्स वुड प्रोसेस डेटा इन अ ह्यूमन लाइक वे फाइनली ब्लॉक चेन इट्स द फाउंडेशन ऑफ वेब थ्री पॉइंट जीरो एज इट रीडिफाइंस द डेटा स्ट्रक्चर इन द बैक एंड ऑफ द सीमेंटिक वेब more specifically using blockchain technology users will be able to own their data and there will be no central controlling authority like web 2.0 imagine it as a kind of bookkeeping where many computers at once host data that is searchable by anyone it's operated by users collectively rather than a corporation cryptocurrency was also developed on blockchain technology web 3.0 will deliver the following benefits privacy and control seamless service transparency data accessibility single profile creation enhanced data processing there are several drawbacks associated with the implementation of web 3.0 such as it requires advanced devices personal data management cyber crimes and hate speech online harassment examples of web 3.0 include Apple's Siri is a perfect example of voice recognition software as the main component of web 3.0 and each ad is powered by a decentralized blockchain technology Wolfram Alpha IDEX and many more included Now you must be thinking how does web 3.0 fit in the metaverse Well the role of web 3.0 is critical in making metaverse a reality specifically if it uses blockchain technology in other words web 3.0 will enable the virtual world to exist online and be available through a web browser i will explain the whole concept of a metaverse in the next video stay connected